many people of the Muslim Ummah are unaware of the superiority of these 10 days. Our Prophet Muhammad wasallam said, there are not any days of the year that are holier than these 10 days of the Hijjah. Therefore, increase in doing good deeds to Allah and increase in saying Allahu Akbar and saying Alhamdulillah and saying La ilaha illallah. So increase in doing your dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What are some of the good deeds that we can do in these days? Well, the first good deed that we can do is Hajj and Umrah. Hajj can only be done during these days, right? This, these are the days of Hajj. These are the days of Hajj. When the, the Hujjaj all congregate on the 7th, 8th, the 9th, the 10th, the 11th, the 12th, the Arimina, Muzalifa, Arafat. These are the days of Hajj. And before them, people come to do Umrah. The second good deed that we can do is to fast in these days. And fasting is a very blessed thing to do in any time of the year, but especially in this time of the year. Because the Prophet ﷺ said, fasting on the day of Arafat will be credited with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for forgiving one's sins of the previous year and the following year. Now this is only for the non-hujjaj. If you're doing hajj, you don't fast. If you're not doing hajj, then you fast on the day of Arafat and that is the 9th of Dhul Hijjah. You're supposed to fast on the 9th of Dhul Hijjah. It will forgive your sins of the year before and the year after. The third thing that we can do is extra dhikr, takbir, saying Allahu Akbar and saying La ilaha illallah and saying Alhamdulillah. And in fact, the Sahaba would be so eager to say these things that they would say them out loud even in the marketplaces and especially after the prayers and especially after the prayers uh, for three days after Eid. After every single prayer, we should raise our voice out loud and we should praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But many Muslims forget even the 10 days before Eid where we should praise Allah, the first 10 days of the Hijjah. And this praise is an unconditional praise, meaning that we don't praise uh, at congregated times, we don't praise together, we just praise whenever we want to praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Another thing that we can do is to repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from our sins. Again, repentance is something that we should do all the time. But especially in these 10 days, we should repent to Allah. And remember that a true repentance means you feel guilty, you want to give up the sins, you leave the sins that you're doing, you seek Allah's forgiveness, and you turn over a new leaf and you become a better person. Another thing that we can do, the fifth thing that we can do, is to do extra voluntary deeds of prayer, and charity, and reading Qur'an. So these are things that we should do again throughout the year. But during this time, even more so, we should do them. Extra prayer, and extra Qur'an, and extra dhikr. And especially the tahajjud prayer, would be a very blessed thing to do in these 10 days. And the final thing that you should do, is that you should appreciate the blessings of Allah, and come close to Him during these 10 days, through each and every deed that you can do. Intentions, and actions, and thoughts, and prayer, and forgiveness. In other words, appreciate the blessings of Allah upon you and thank Him for what He has given you and seek forgiveness for all that you have fallen short. These are the 10 days of Dhul Hijjah. Take advantage of them and try your best to earn Allah's pleasure through them.